Okay. This is how I set up the system to make sure that the axis is measuring uh, exactly as it's displayed on the DRO. Uh, I've tried various ways but it seems to me the best way is to set it up by uh, using the settings page first before you try to set the backlash. And what I do is I uh, jog this So I'll just move the camera and you can watch what happens. Okay, I've got backlash turned off and I'm just going to move it so that I'm past the zero point then I'm going to jog having make, making up the backlash there we go and I stop it on exactly naught now if I go to I'll just switch back to the screen if I go to the settings tab steps per unit, x-axis, and if I want to go say two millimeters, it's two, and I'll just move back to the script to the uh, dial gauge so you can see the effect. And I've set that up now so that's moving exactly two millimeters. and I'll just go OK through those because I don't want to change it. Now, um, if you go back there and you want to go minus two, so you should get back to where you were. So that you would expect to be sitting on zero, but in fact it isn't because that's your backlash error. And I experimented doing this a few times and my backlash error is very, very low and it's around about 0 0.025. So I'll just go back to here. Clear the screen off and I go back to config backlash 0.025 is set enable backlash OK now if I go to um, jog that back to where I was to the zero now you can see that the backlash is working Because when I um, jog now, it jumps that little bit that it was missing before. Okay, so if we now go to steps per unit screen in the settings tab, press OK, and I move two millimeters, it moves two millimeters. And if I go back, minus two millimetres, just very slightly out. So I've got rather too much backlash. So if I change my backlash setting a little bit, turn it down. 
point two say. And I jog this so that I'm well past there. And I jog that up to the zero. Okay, now if I do steps per unit on the settings page, x axis, and move it two millimeters, that's absolutely dead on two millimeters. And I run it back minus two millimeters. Lo and behold, we're zero. So it's moving two millimeters in one direction. Um, having set the backlash so that it's taken up manually, the other direction is compensated for the backlash with the backlash compensation. So that's now set, well, as accurate as I can do, I think. So that's the backlash set and the um, setting. Right. Uh, now on the Z on the Z axis, I just jog back. I previously set. Let's just go back a bit further. Previously set the um, steps so that I've got exactly the right steps. Now we jog back up to the axis. I've set the backlash. Okay. So I go steps per unit. In the z-axis and I move minus two, we move minus two and if we go back up again, so that's z-axis, okay two, that's now exactly right up and down with the backlash And I can have a look at the back backlash settings just to verify what I've got. Config backlash. I've got point oh two on the X. 0.065 on the Y and 0.099 on the Z and the Z axis I had a bit of a problem with and you'll see that I've set the backlash speed to 40% of the maximum because I found it was jumping about a bit because it wouldn't accelerate fast enough to do it to 100% because of the heavy weight of the head going up and down and I've now got it set so that backlash compensation is set for all axes and all the steps per on each axis are correct now perhaps I'll just do a bit of zooming around on the mill just so you can see the speeds that I've got so it's a little bit slower than I had before Right, that's the end of the tape.